the book looks at the phenomenon of Wahhabism from new and unusual angles. I mean, we know a lot about Wahhabi doctrine, right? This is a textual movement. It generates lots of uh, scholarly tomes and so on. And we know a lot about kind of its place within the Saudi state, but that's a very kind of state-centric view. So we know about scholars, and we know about kings and regimes and what they do. But what this book does is it looks at Wahhabism through two unusual angles. First, it looks at it internationally. Like, how does Wahhabism operate in the world? So we move, we never move completely away from Saudi Arabia, but it's not just about Saudi Arabia. And second, it actually kind of takes a look at sort of more grassroots institutions. So we, 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 we learn about, you know, schools and pamphlets and charity organizations and that sort of thing, rather than just focusing on sort of big state structures. So what it does is it just lets you know how essentially Muslims in the world today, throughout the world, encounter Wahhabism, not as just a doctrine, uh, but as a set of institutions and practices which operate really in Muslim societies globally. If you take a look at Saudi Arabia today, what seems to be happening is a reconfiguration of the state's relationship with the Wahhabi movement. And some people are even talking about the disestablishment of Wahhabism in Saudi Arabia. That's, it's not clear exactly what's happening. It's clear what some initial steps are. It's not clear what is happening or where it's going. But in order to understand exactly what the Wahhabi establishment is and what it's actually doing, um, you really need to start with this book. So it's one thing to say that, uh, you know, Mohammed bin Salman seems to be less emphasizing Wahhabism less in Saudi national identity as well. And that's an important point, and there does seem to be some movement there. But what that will translate into, we don't know yet, and we won't know until we do the kinds of scholarship that these scholars are doing, and that is to take a look at how Wahhabism is actually structured and operates.